Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Friday of the seventh week of Easter, getting very, very close to the end of our Easter season as we enter this weekend, uh, Pentecost weekend, the end of the Easter season, uh, and the coming of the Holy Spirit. Our readings today, um, we heard... I believe yesterday from uh, Jesus when he uh, appeared to Paul and told him that he would be not only testifying and evangelizing in Jerusalem, but in Rome as well. And today, Paul is being held by the uh, Roman officials for his safekeeping more than anything else. Um but uh, we hear from the Roman officials that Paul has, you know, they asked Paul if he wanted to go back to Jerusalem to f defend himself there. And he said, no, he said, I'd rather defend myself in front of the emperor. So giving Rome, like, the opportunity to bring him to Rome, and so that's the, um, you know, the situation that Paul was in, and then, of course, we know the rest of the story. He does go to Rome, and uh, for his faith, eventually is um, beheaded in Rome, um, even though in Rome he spent a good amount of time. He did a lot of uh, letter writing and preaching and teaching and evangelizing uh, in Rome. It wasn't a quick execution. They allowed Paul to live a good bit in Rome while he, um, you know, while he awaited his, his inevitable end. Our gospel today, um, Jesus talking to Peter. This is a very familiar gospel, I would think, to most of you. This is right before Jesus ascends into heaven. And he takes Peter aside. And he says, Simon, son of Joan, do you love me? Peter says, yes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus said, feed my lambs. Then a second time, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter says, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Tend my sheep. Then a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter says, Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. Feed my sheep. Two things, love, do you love me? What does that mean, do you love me? We've heard over the last few days that Jesus says, you love me if you keep my commands. Jesus testing Peter trying him, if you will, because of Peter's thrice denial on Good Friday, you were with him. No, I don't know him, right? Jesus told him, before the cock crows, you'll deny me three times. So here's Jesus sort of reminding Peter in a way Peter wasn't enjoying you know, the third time he was perturbed, it says, that Jesus would ask him a third time. Love is vital. And sacrificial love is what Jesus is talking about. Will you die for me? Do you love me? And then the command that Peter is given by Jesus. If you love me, you will love my flock. 
If you care for me, you will care for my flock. This is how I need you to love me. Remember, he gave Peter the keys to the kingdom in charge of his flock. And he had to cement this idea in the heart of Peter that great love, great concern, great mercy, great compassion is required for him to perfectly serve the people of Christ, the church. So it's a beautiful passage today. Love, obedience, and then giving that love to the people of the church, serving them. A servant giving themselves to their the people that they serve, giving themselves totally like Jesus did, feeding us his own body and blood. The church continues today, 2,000 years later, because of the dedication and the love of all of the servants of the church that faithfully followed those commands of Jesus to love and to serve. So my brothers and sisters, let us pray our evening prayer today in thanksgiving for all of our church fathers throughout history, everyone throughout the whole lineage of priests, bishops, popes, that continue to this day to love and to serve. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself in Israel, for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I, the Lord, am your Savior and Redeemer. Alleluia. Blessed is the kingdom of David, our Father, which has come among us. Alleluia. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age, for the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed. He who dwells in Jerusalem. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, your name and your memory last forever. We stand to pray in your house and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness to have mercy on us in our lowliness. Blessed is the kingdom of David our Father, which has come among us. Alleluia. Let us sing to the Lord glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. Live in accord with the Spirit, and you will not yield to the cravings of the flesh. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, endurance, kindness, generosity, faith, mildness, and chastity. Since we live by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's lead. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. He will teach you all things. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. Together they persevered in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Together they persevered in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Alleluia. Let us praise and thank the Father who has poured out the grace of the Spirit on all peoples. Let us ask him for an ever greater share in his Spirit saying, Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Lord you, have, Lord, you gave us your chosen one as the light of all peoples. Open the eyes of the blind and lead them from captivity, those who sit in darkness. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. <coughs> you anointed Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit for the ministry of salvation. May he once more go about the world doing good and healing all. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Send your Spirit, the light of all hearts, to strengthen the faith of those in doubt. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Send your Spirit, our rest in labor, to support the weary and the brokenhearted. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Fulfill the hope of those who have died so that they may rise again at the coming of Christ. Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit throughout the world. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. And a blessed Pentecost. May the Holy Spirit come down upon you and fill you with every good gift and blessing. See you tomorrow.